wait a minute, I'm not supposed to share this? Is he daring me to share this? Am I, why shouldn't I share this? It's Max Major and this is episode 150 of the vlog. Feeling fantastic today. Getting ready to head up to New York City. I have a show tonight. Uh, really stoked about being back in the rhythm. Yesterday's vlog, incredible. Did you see that? If you didn't see that, go and watch it. Uh, I'm late as usual. I've gotta get a car. I've gotta get over to Union Station. Good to be back. almost always crazy early to the airport and extra late to the train station. I think it's because it's like literally a mile and a half from my house and so I'm under the illusion that it takes five minutes to get here. But uh, DC traffic sometimes can be more like 15. Anyways, I think I'm gonna make it. Back at the bus. So while I have this show tonight, what I'm actually most excited for is in about two minutes, I'm about to meet my editor Maya for the very first time. We've been working together for over six months. I can't imagine what that's like to watch footage every day of someone's daily life to never have met them in person. I mean, I myself am really excited to meet her, but I can't imagine what this is like from her perspective. And so she is at a coffee shop right about the street. I'm gonna go in right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's you and Billy. Hi. Maya so I'm sitting here with Maya and Billy. It was like and uh, we're actually meeting for the first time, which is super crazy. My show is here tonight, but we're just hanging out for a little bit. Uh, talking about the edit for yesterday's vlog. It's like a vlog conversation about a vlog within a vlog. It's very weird. It's good. <laughs> but the best part is that we actually get to meet in person. Yeah. What, is, what is it like to watch a video of someone's life every day for six months? I've seen this guy every day since June and I'm only meeting him for the first time now and I had like a fangirl moment. It's crazy seeing this guy like, oh my god, he's like a real person. The like, super weird thing is that like you guys see a three minute version of my life every day. Maya sees like a four to eight hour version of my life every day because she has to watch all of the footage and so I feel like we already know each other. It's just very surreal. You guys have no idea the kind of things I see that I cut out of videos. <laughs> <laughs> Lost episodes. <laughs> or the stuff where I'm like, that cannot go in the vlog. It happens a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, Maya, please take this out. <laughs> okay, we're going to hang out before the show starts. <laughs> See you guys. Okay, I'm all changed. I'm set up for my show. The guests are coming in right now. I'll see you guys afterwards. Uh, Penn Station. This concludes our whirlwind tour of New York. Literally was here for about four hours. Uh, I would love to stay, I love coming up here, but I have a show in Washington DC tomorrow, so I've literally got to head straight back. And I made it with about uh, 10 minutes to spare. I did, however, in my haste to leave the venue, uh, I left my favorite jacket behind in Kocek, so not very happy about that. I'm sitting on the train here. Pretty much empty, almost Washington DC, making the final edits on the hypnosis vlog from yesterday. And I have a crazy idea for a closing call to action. I feel like this is super bold, 
and it kind of makes me uncomfortable, like as a viewer, like it's a bit of a mind f It's like, wait a minute, am I not supposed to share this? Is he daring me to share this? I'm sharing this. I'm home. Honey. I'm home. <laughs>